Good morning, this is John Hauser with AskTheHerbalist.net. I'm going to be bringing you a series of videos on the eight causes of disease. Now this is actually an article, and the article came out of a magazine. The name of the magazine is called Manager Extra. This is a magazine that's put out by a company that's called Nature Sunshine an excellent company that has built their entire company on education and educating their members about natural health. Now this is what the magazine looks like. There it is. <laughs> I just love to do that. And <laughs> I have a lot of fun when I do things. If you want to see the article, here's the actual article. The Eight Causes of Disease. Now this article is written by two very famous doctors. One of them is Dr. Gord Peterson and the other one is a Dr. Alex Durete and uh, both are uh, PhDs. Now I'm going to give you this information in very short, concise uh, time. Uh, the first part of it is this. We're going to talk about the first two causes. First two causes, there's eight causes. We're going to talk about the first two causes of disease. Now these two gentlemen have done a great job of narrowing this down to eight very, very short paragraphs. Here's the first one. The eight causes of diseases. The first one is deficiency. The USDA reports that most Americans do not receive sufficient nutrition in addition to vitamin and nutrient deficiency, a lack of water, sleep, and exercise can compromise health. So your first cause of disease is deficiencies. Number two is contagions. Many health concerns are caused by bacteria, viruses, parasites, or fungi that are passed from person to person through the air, water, and food we share. Some of today's most dangerous pathogens are resistant to the drugs created to destroy them. Now understand this, we are exposed on average to more than 400 toxins daily, and we're exposed to more toxins in 15 minutes than our great-grandparents used to get in their entire life. 